trusting to the end, take a moment now to pray this to God. Lord, please forgive me for all the times when I have been unfaithful to you. Help me to trust you from now on, to the very end. Two of the reasons why the Israelites so easily strayed from God was their sin and their lack of trust. After they were liberated from Egypt, they tested God's patience to such an extent that they spent 40 years wandering through the desert as punishment for their disobedience. It was only when all the unbelieving Israelites had died that their children were allowed to enter into the promised land. Sin has a way of sinking our trust in God. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12 says it well. Make sure there's no evil unbelief lying around that will trip you up and throw you off course, diverting you from the living God. What does your trust in God look like? Do you trust Him unconditionally, even when you don't see the fulfillment of His promises in your life? It is God's will that you keep holding on to Him, until the very end. Then you can claim Jesus' promise in Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. The one who endures to the end will be saved. On the eve of Jesus' crucifixion, he encouraged his disciples to keep trusting him. And they knew that it is he who opens the way to heaven. So trust the Lord to the very end. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Subscribe, for more good news.